Hello everybody, it's Zach here. So today what we're going to be talking about is uh, uh, personal protection. But it's not only personal protection, it's, it's more than that. This is um, personal protection. I'll give you my theory on that in a moment. But what, what this video is about is going to be uh, why you should always carry a knife with you uh, wherever you go. Now obviously if you're in like high school or something, carrying a knife with you isn't, isn't, uh, you're not able to do that in school. But once you get into college and stuff like that, where uh, it is less of a, of a problem. I mean, probably 90%. Even my teacher carries a knife on him. So, I mean, uh, where it's viewed more of as a tool than anything else, um, it's a good idea to invest in a, just a cheap knife. And I'm going to show you guys uh, my knife and a few suggestions that I have. So my knife is a real cheap one, but it has real good reviews. Uh, this right here is a Kershaw Crown. You can pick these up at Walmart for around 20 bucks, okay? And they're actually really good quality. Um, I've had this one probably for about a year now, and uh, still works fine. Uh, the blade isn't loose at all, and uh, the only real complaint I have is the pocket clip here got a little loose but I plan on fixing that I just need to get a star bit and some Loctite and she'll never loosen up again uh, but uh, the reason why I don't suggest you have a knife for uh, self-defense reasons is I'm going to show you guys probably one of the better self-defense uh, items that you can have it's just about the same size, but way lighter. So, we moved up here to, to college, and uh, uh, my sister and my girlfriend joined me up here, or we all moved together, I should say. But I wanted something for their personal defense, as well as mine. There's a lot of people up here, and a lot of young college kids, a lot of, there's a prison nearby, there's a lot of whack jobs, okay? Just like there would be in any other town or any, any other state, um, there's always your wag jobs, right? Well, I considered buying them a knife, but I thought, you know, a, white, a knife is pretty lethal. Um, if someone attacks you, before you open this knife, uh, you're going to think twice about it because um, this could lead to a lot of different things. You can go to jail for killing somebody with one of these, okay? And, uh... And it's a big deal, okay? Now, giving a knife to my girlfriend or sister, yeah, they might have it in their purse, but is that really going to do anything for them? Are they going to think about this? No, not at all. And that's the honest truth. Not even I would think about it. I think of this more as a tool than I do a view on protection because as soon as I whip out my knife, more than likely this person that's attacking me is going to whip out theirs. And if they're already a whack job, they're going to be coming after me even faster. So this is my proposal. This right here, there's a little thing of pepper spray, okay? <clears throat> yeah, I know, it might sound really just stupid that I'm suggesting this, but no, hear me out. This pepper spray is relatively the same size as this knife. This pepper spray has a keychain on it and a clip. You can clip it on yourself or you can have it on your keychain. This here has about, uh, what was it, five to seven one second bursts in it. And what this does, you might stab your person, right? But more than likely, they're still going to come after you and they're going to stab you back. Um, you know, especially if, if, you know, if you're a woman and you whip this out and it's some big, honky, quacked out dude, your odds, even my odds, are low. So this is the pepper spray, though. As soon as you spray this, now I've never gotten sprayed with pepper spray, so this is just what I've read online. You can watch the videos on it too, but what it will do is it will, uh, first of all, burn your skin and make your eyes water, okay? Now if you've ever had watery eyes, you cannot see. Now it, it makes your eyes water and it makes your eyes burn, okay? But what it also does is if you get any of this, I mean even from it being in the air and getting into your... Uh, into your airway, it uh, makes it very hard to breathe. 
and uh, I'm trying to see here what it says 180,000 Scoville heat units I believe that's how you say it is Scoville um, very hot so here this is what it says so what it does is it'll make your mucous membranes basically clog up running like you're sick only way worse way worse um, mix that we mix the worst cold you've ever had with the hottest sauce you've ever had and trying to deal with it right you wouldn't be able to breathe would you and that's exactly what this does and this is a non-harmful uh, I say non-harmful but you know it depends who you're talking to but this is relatively a non-harmful uh, self-defense item which you can legally carry uh, pretty much all over even cops carry it and here's a real life story I was out uh, walking one night and I, I brought this with me I always do when I walk at night a co I have it in my hand and I have my finger ready okay because you don't know someone pops out you're done buddy I don't care if it's a joke you're done um, a cop stops me and says you know how's it going tonight good I was just about to cross the street and we were, he was joking around you know uh, whatever and I had this in my hand you know, which might look a little weird to pop. So he says, oh, what do you got in your hand? And I said, oh, um, I have a, a, a can of pepper spray here. And he says, oh, okay. Uh, you know, go on, and he jokes, he says, go on a walk on, a wet, on the west side or whatever. And I said, yeah, you know, funny story. Um, and he laughed and he said, well, have a good night. So um, the fact is, if I would have said, oh, it's a knife, he would have viewed that as, he would have probably stopped, patted me down, asked me more questions. But with this, you know, he understands. Um, Non-lethal. I'm not here to hurt anybody. You know, I'm not going around spraying this in people's faces thinking it's funny. But uh, what I am doing is I'm, I'm personally protecting myself. So that's my self-defense. Now I'm going to take this video a little bit further. This Kershaw blade is a little dull. I like to keep my knives sharp. Very sharp. And I made a video on this previously, but I'm going to make a video on it now. This knife is very dull. Do a little paper test. It doesn't really even work. Uh, but this is how I sharpen my, my knives. I'm going to pan this down quick. So, what we got is I got myself a sharpening stone. And this only cost me $3 at the local uh, thrift, or not a thrift store, it's like a bargain store. And what I do now you can use some of them you have to use only wet some of them you can use wet and dry but what I do is I I just put it on the soft one it has a coarse side and a soft side so I have it on the soft side completely dry but I put my knife on there I normally angle it so I can get this little last piece of the blade and I'll bend it up and you'll kind of feel when that blade hits And flip. And I just push it right against my laptop. And I put it on a paper towel or a or a uh, uh, washcloth works great. But I'll sit here and I'll work this back and forth, taking one side at a time, taking turns, basically until I feel the need that it's sharp. Okay. And by doing this, this is how I sharpen all my knives. By doing that, I can get the the right beveled edge that I want, and I can get everything that I want out of my blade. This one here has a really short and narrow uh, cut to it, real short. You can barely see it right here on the on the edge there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a bit of it off when I'm working on it this time until she has a much larger cutting area um, it will make the blade a little more brittle but you're going to get more of a cutting edge on it but uh, I believe anybody should have a knife um, just for you know opening packages all kinds of stuff oh does this thing come in handy um, but one thing I would say about the Kershaw crown is with its pocket clip make sure you uh, either always carry it in your left pocket or be careful if you carry it in your right, because when you get in your car and you lift your leg up, it'll hit against your steering wheel. True story. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching.